Boleh ke? Can I write no more than 80 words? Can you? What do you think, boys and girls? Boleh ke? No. Can I write no more than 80 words? No. Yeah, okay. What That's one answer. Actually. Okay, you don't have to count. Lebih kurang satu perenggan, dua perenggan pun dah okay. It will be oh. around 80 okay, words. 80 words is actually very Lebih short. Tapi saya tanya, that's why my question just now. So one of the boys answered, okay, it cannot be more than 80 words. Yeah, it can be longer, no problem. But let me tell you why, why shouldn't we write longer than 80 words? Sebab untuk writing ada tiga soalan and it's only one hour and thirty minutes. Do you think you have enough time to write long, uh, for a long, uh, long apa, emails for this part? You don't have that time. Okay, you don't have the luxury, you don't have time. So dekat bagian ni dalam 15 minutes you should be done already. Less than 15 minutes you should be done already. Okay, yang pentingnya Okay, most importantly, okay, uh, pastikan whatever uh, uh, the, the question wants you to write about, you must write about it. The content part tu mesti ada. Tak, tak perlu panjang pun sebenarnya. As long as you have everything. Okay, first kali ya. Eh? First ya. Eh? Madam cakap ni ya. Eh? Ni first tip paling penting for part 1, part 2 and part 3. Yang pertama, Mesti baca kehendak soalan. The criteria, the content part. That's the first part on how you are going to be evaluated. Okay, pastikan apa yang soalan nak, semua ada. That's it. You don't have to write flowery sentences. Don't. Don't do that. Okay, and awak suka kan bila buat email. How are you? I'm fine. I hope your family are fine too. I hope ni ni. Tak payah, tak payah. Okay, don't waste too much time. Alright? So, as long as the content, everything is there and it's done. Okay, 20 marks. All right. Um, okay, this is one example. Okay, one example of a question. You have received an email from your English-speaking friend. Okay. Uh, hi, we are having our midterm break here in Australia. I'm planning to visit you. Where shall we go and what can we do there? What should I bring for you? Okay. Can anyone tell me what's the content point that you must have when you write your email? When you reply this email? Uh, anyone? Where shall they go? What can they do? And what should he bring? Okay, good. So, bila tiga ni ada, uh, okay, tiga perkara ni ada. Thank you very much. That's Muhammad Anas, is it? Ha, memang Mama Ana ni daripada tadi jawab bagus lah Ana ni dia mendoakan semoga kamu cemerlang dunia dan akhirat Okay, so tiga perkara ni kamu ada saja When you write, even though simple sentences Untuk bagi mata content point Maka penuh lima So dah dapat lima Maka full mark Full mark five Okay, so pastikan jawab soalan ni Walaupun ayat awak tunggang langgar Tapi tiga ni dah ada dalam awak punya email, maka penandaan awak lima, maka full. Kalau kurang satu, cuba-cuba punya awak tertinggal, what should I bring for you? Maksudnya kawan ni dia nak bawa buah tangan untuk awak, awak tertinggal bagian tu, maybe you can get three marks from five. Okay? But, rugi kan? Awak boleh dapat full mark kan? Uh, okay? So, first sekali, understand uh, the content. What, okay, what is the need of the question. Okay, so this is one example since we are in Tamka, kan? Okay, uh, kita cari tempat yang mudah kita nak cerita. So, organize the highlighted words or phrases. Where shall we go? For example, jawab, okay, mua. Uh, so, what can you do? Uh, you want to bring your friend to uh, on a river cruise, okay, eat satay, okay? And what should I bring? So what do you want your friend to bring for you? He's from Australia. She's from Australia. 
So most probably because you collect fish magnets, so you want fish magnets. If you want stationery, if you want bookmark, tell your friends to bring uh, that. As long as you have all these, then you're, you will get five marks for this. Okay. Hari ni juga saya nak share sikit siapa yang paling lemah, 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 lemah sangat pun boleh score. Okay. Untuk bahagian yang pertama ni, okay, when you start your email, okay, uh, your openings for your email, eh, uh, okay, for your informal messages, okay, you can start with hi, you can start with hello, how are you, dah cukup. Daripada senarai yang sedia share tu ni, awak mungkin boleh ambil satu, dua, Ataupun tiga. Because you know that somehow your friend has already sent you the email. So you would like to say it's good to hear from you. Or thank you for your email. Okay. So pilih tiga atau dua dari sini. Enough. Dan pastikan peringkat awal introduction ni jangan buat any grammatical error. Okay sayang. Sebab benda ni yang paling senang. Alright. So what should you do from here? You should choose only Two or three phrases. Okay? Boleh, boys and girls. Alright. Uh, jangan ambil, uh, jangan ambil uh, ambitious yang tiba-tiba dah salah banyak. Okay? Uh. Okay, next one. So, bila ada opening, mesti ada ending. Friendly ending. Okay, when you talk to your friend. Okay, pilihlah satu atau dua from this part here. That's it, cukuplah. Okay? Uh, you can say, uh, I hope to hear from you soon, I'll speak to you later, that's all for now, bye, dah cukup. Tak perlu banyak-banyak, tengok ejaan, pastikan ejaan betul, okay, uh, you don't mix up a lot of things here. So, these two things you can control, how to start and how to end. So, you demand master. You know already what they are, okay. Okay, express enthusiasm. Okay, katakan this is a happy, uh, this is a happy, apa namanya? Uh, okay. Kena baca juga kat tepi ni eh. Kalau ada question, you can uh, uh, ask questions. Okay, awak tahu somehow your friend is coming to visit you and your friend is not from war. Okay, your friend is from Australia. Far away kan? So, you're kind of excited, right? So, enthusiasm eh. Uh, jadi macam tadi awak dah pilih ha, uh, hi, uh, how are you uh, ataupun uh, thank you for your email and dekat sini awak boleh masuk satu lagi uh, what an exciting news because your friend has already told you that he's coming from Australia to your house. Okay, so choose one. Uh, kenapa Madam bagi language frame macam ni senang. Okay, uh, it'll be fun. Okay. Uh, maksudnya bila kawan datang tu, you know, it'll be fun. It's, uh, I'm looking forward for your visit. So, you have the language frame. Bila kita dah ada language frame ni, senang tak dalam penulisan kita, kita jimat masa. Because you are going, to, yeah, you don't have much time. You need to do this within 15 minutes. Okay? And then, uh, if, uh, if for example, that email is asking for advice, uh, okay, your friend is talking about something yang sad, kan? So, you can use words that I'm sorry to hear that. Cukup. Full stop. Okay? Uh, I apologize for the late reply. That's it. Cukup. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, cukup lah. Tak payah panjang-panjang. Alright. So, this is one example here. Uh, if you like, you can copy this example sebab nanti bila nak point out one another thing, another element on how your writing is being marked. Okay? So, hi Lisa, it's good to hear from you. This is from the language frame tadi yang saya bagi dengan kamu. What's an exciting, uh, what an exciting news? And for me, my midterm holiday will start in a few days. Uh, ini yang option, tak nak. Kalau awak kata what an exciting news pun, okay, dah cukup. Okay, firstly, let's go to Mua, the royal city of Joko. It's nearby my hometown. So, we can go on the river cruise in the morning. Jadi yang pertama, soalan pertama, criteria pertama yang minta, let's go to Mua. Dah tahu dah, okay, where to go, Mua. Okay, and then what are you going to do? The river cruise in the morning. 
Okay, as you are a nature lover, you will definitely love the amazing view along the Moa River. After that, I suggest that we have our breakfast at Satay Warisan. So, the additional point, maksudnya dapat satu lagi content point. Maksudnya, okay, nice. Okay, untuk soalan kedua, awak dah bagi dua example tu. Okay, and uh, Satay Warisan, one of the famous satay shops in Moa. Only in Moa, we get to eat satay in the morning. Okay, as I am an avid collector of fridge magnets, Please get me few unique designs of fridge magnets. I would love a kangaroo fridge magnet. Now, I check out kangaroo because your friend is from Australia. Okay, I'm looking forward for your visit. Bye. That's it. Cukup. Okay, tak payah panjang-panjang lah. So, Naima untuk content point dah dapat maka penuh. Lima. Full. Okay, kat mana lagi yang, yang awak dapat maka penuh? Okay, uh, saya tunjuk juga. Okay, before we go in depth for this part. Okay, Madam tunjuk yang ni dulu. Sekejap lagi Madam share balik contoh jawapan tu. Okay, uh, along the way you can call me Madam Sheila eh. Okay, for today you are my student. Alright, so how are you being marked? Okay, so the first part is content five marks tadi. Communicative achievement. Apa marks communicative achievement? Adakah Penulisan awak tu nampak macam uh, an email to a friend. It's not serious. Okay, the tone is like to a friend. Okay, very friendly. So, tak bagian communicative achievement ni lah. Ha, sama ada awak boleh dapat markah. Dia ha, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 markah penuh. Okay, dan tak terlalu banyak semasa, uh, kesalahan. Maksudnya message tu sampai straightforward. It's friendly, it's straightforward, people understand your message. Then awak dapat lima markah. Senang sebenarnya nak lepas ni. You can actually get 20 marks senang sangat. Okay. Kemudian, katakan um, apa, it is it's a report. Kalau report, it can sound like it's a report. Kalau lah dia tu movie review, it must look like a movie review and not a movie synopsis. Kat sini lah CA awak boleh dapat markah. Lima ke, empat ke, tiga ke, dua ke, satu. Macam mana? Okay. Satu lagi bahagian yang awak boleh skor yang saya nak point out sekejap lagi ialah kat bagian organisation. Okay. I'm very sure your teachers have been stressing on you. Okay. Look at the use of linkers. Uh, what are linkers? Apa dia linkers? Conjunctions and linkers. What are they? Uh, bagi contoh. Uh, bagi contoh. Eh, anak-anak ni tengok apa? Tengok cerita kartun ke? Beside. Sama dia? Beside. Besides. Okay. So, maksudnya linkers ni bahasa Melayu apa, Sofia? Okay, Hazrul. Furthermore, ya, yeah, betul. Ah, Linkers ni yang nama apa? Ya, yeah, pandai Sofia. Okay, penanda wacana. Okay. So, macam mana nak add points, uh, nak contrast between positive and negative, nak pakai apa, okay? And then, uh, conjunctions. Conjunctions ialah kata hubung. Hari ni, saya nak cakap bagi pihak cikgu awak nanti esok sepanjang sebelum awak nak ambil peksa. Ambil peksa lambat lagi kan? Bulan dua kan? Tahun, tahun depan kan? Lambat kan? Banyak masa lagi. Okay. So, saya suka saya nak murid saya macam ni. Lama lagi tahun depan pun nak ambil peksa, kan? Haa. Uh. Okay, if you think it's that long, kan? Hari ni saya bagi pihak cikgu awak nak tekan, kan? Setiap kali penulisan sama ada part 1, part 2 atau part 3, mesti, mesti, you must use the word and. A-N-D, conjunction and. Kata hubung, and. Susah ke nak pakai and, saya tanya? Semua orang pandai guna and, kan? Betul tak? Ah, mesti, mesti. Bila awak menulis tu, pastikan awak mesti ada dua ayat yang disambungkan dengan N untuk ratik. Part 1, part 2 and part 3. Sebab ada pemarkahan untuk uh, bahagian ini. Ini under conjunction, uh, under under organisation. Organisation ni kalau awak pakai simple conjunction, simple uh, linkers. Okay, first, next, okay. 
uh, pakai linkers yang macam tu ada dua tiga okey mungkin markah awak dalam tiga gitu okey dalam tiga atau dua depends okey tapi kalau awak pakai high flow linkers high flow linkers macam yang kawan kamu bagi contoh furthermore besides apart from that Okay, awak tak pakai but, awak pakai however. So, ada dalam part kelima dan itu markah awak akan duduk empat atau lima markah untuk bagi organisation. Tadi konten dah lima. Bayangkan dekat organisation cukup. Apa semuanya ada cukup, dapat lagi lima dah sepuluh markah. Jadi tinggal apa dekat communicative achievement dengan dekat bahagian language. Language tu ada tunggang terbalik sikit, uh, tenses ada lari-lari sikit mungkin uh, Boleh dapat tiga markah And then your email is really friendly and it looks like an email If Orang yang baca, the reader reads your email and understand your message You can actually get four or five, full mark juga Sebab tu saya kata untuk bahagian ni Memang senang nak score, boleh dapat full mark For you Okay saya ingat eh, uh, batch ni lah, your batch yang sekarang ni form 5 When I was teaching them for form 3, for PT3 Soalan macam ni man, memang ada untuk PT3 kan, first part uh, Saya cerita ni, majority dapat full mark for this Sebab dia just ikut saya punya module, apa yang saya share dengan awak hari ni Hari ni target mana bersenang saya, saya tak kira lah yang dalam hari ni, dalam tak ni, saya ada lakon dulu lebih ni tak kira lah Yang memang target nak dapat A ke, nak dapat B ke, C ke, nak lulus ke Saya ada hari ni part 1 kena dapat full mark, mesti ha, Sebab dah tahu kat mana nak, uh, mana awak nak score actually Okay So, uh, dah faham kan mana nak pergi ni macam mana nak ni? Ah, sekarang awak tengok kat sini. Siapa boleh point out the linkers and conjunctions in here? Ah, share dengan saya. Ah, sebutkan apa? Saya nak one person. Nanti cik pun yang lupa award dia. Nanti dia tak tahu lah macam mana nak bagi. Selalu kan kita bagi chocolate ke apa kat budak-budak kan? Ah, kali ni tak tahu lah macam mana nak bagi reward. Okay? Suruh cik budi lah bagi reward nanti makan ais krim naik face to face Ada special reward ke? Ada special cik. reward eh? Uh -huh. Haa, subscribe Nanti tak apalah siapa yang boleh uh, jawab ni nanti akak belanja dia makan ais krim lah nanti face to face nanti I got to send you the money uh, Treat them Alright, so boys and girls siapa boleh point out From here, from this sample email Sebutkan pada saya linkers dengan conjunction yang dia pakai Uh, one person, any boy or girl, come on. Tak ada yang nak cuba? Firstly. Firstly, okay. Lagi? Uh, siapa yang cakap first kita tadi tu? Uh, Mama Anas. Uh, firstly, lagi apa lagi for uh, Anas? Sebut semua. Uh, baby. Ada after that. Okay. Sebelum tu ada lagi tak? So. So. Okay. Tiga. Lagi? Apa dia? Ada pakai M tak kat sini? Tak pakai. Tak pakai. Okay. Kalau awak lah kat mana agak-agaknya awak boleh pakai M kat sini? Hmm. Mungkin dekat bahagian after that, I suggest that we have our satay breakfast at Satay Warisan. One of the famous satay shops in Muar and only in Muar we get to eat satay in the morning. Okay, tak apa. Okay, kalau kata dah ada M tadi kat sini, awak tengok dia dah ada tiga linkers, okay Awak tengok dia ada firstly tadi, dia ada so, dia ada after that, okay Dan organisation ni sebenarnya bukan setakat penggunaan linkers Tapi dia, dia nampak dia punya susunan tu nampak teratur Nampak isi tu teratur 
Okay, and then dia ada kohesif, penggunaan kohesif di policies eh. Ha, maksudnya dia kata ganti nama, lepas tu dia ada apa perkataan um, apa namanya tadi, uh, where ke, which ke, macam tu kan. Okay, uh, your teacher should know that lah, cohesive devices. So, dia kita dah boleh award dekat bagian organisation sini, four or even five. Okay, uh, simply like that. Alright. Uh, I would say I would give a three, uh, a three or a four lah sebab dia punya penggunaan uh, apa, dia punya simple. Dia punya apa namanya tu, uh, linkers dia simple linkers. Okay. Alright. Um, any questions for this part tak? Untuk email ni. Awak clear tak macam mana list email hari ni? Agak-agak okay yeah. tak? Clear. Apa idea yang awak dapat pagi ni dari saya? Macam mana nak memudahkan hidup awak supaya awak tulis awak punya uh, email tu within 15 minutes? Less than 15 minutes. Apa idea ni? Apa tip dia? Madam akan fokus lama sikit kat sini. Sebab yang kat sini yang awak memang betul-betul boleh score. Okay. Uh, you can simply get 20 marks here. So apa idea-nya supaya you can write with it. Ada tak your weak student here inside here uh, guys? Petri? Uh, uh, yang agak yang yang sebenarnya dia ada harapan. Uh. Ada tak bila tak you sebut your, your student tu? Ah, sebut je panggil dia siapa-siapa tu Sebab saya nak dengar dia siapa-siapa Siapa Siapa nak ada lima ready Lima ready So lima ready kasih Come on ah, Cici dah panggil tu Anyone jadi nak apa? Terus sebut balik apa tipnya. Ha. Tak ada. Kalau saya sebut macam saya yang short sendiri, ha, saya nak awak sebut apa taktiknya hari ni yang mudah untuk awak pantas ha, menulis email ni. For you to fast, uh, quickly uh, complete this task. Yang berapa tinggal yang dia? 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 Organize the highlighted words or phrase. Okay. Uh, sebenarnya, Mira suka ni kalau yang dapat dari kelas-kelas yang istimewa ni bagi tahu dengan saya hari ni. Ah, uh, um, Madam, I think kalau saya nak cepat dan saya nak dapat mata yang lebih tinggi dekat bahagian ni. Okay. Uh, sebenarnya saya kena hafal dia punya opening dengan ending. Betul kan? Eh? Awak kena hafal dia punya opening ending. Jangan hafal semua. Ambil dua atau tiga opening, ending ada satu atau dua Lepas itu macam kawan awak nak cakap, baca kehendak soalan jawab satu-satu Hi, how are you? Ah, uh, We will go to more Paling senang itu, we will go to more Okay, firstly, we will go to more Okay, uh, after that, uh, okay, we can apa go on cruise uh, Then, we can eat satay Okay, uh, last but not least, uh, please bring me fridge magnets or stationery yang contoh from Australia. Dah dapat marka tau. Okay, uh, tambah sikit-sikit saja -sikit lagi sebab AT words ni tak banyak sebenarnya. Alright, okay. So this is actually uh, two ways eh. Siapa yang memang nak score dapat A plus, okay, the A is for English. You need to get full mark for this. And those yang memang tak pernah pass bahasa Inggeris, awak nak lepas, di sini lah kuncinya. Okay, you need to memorize here and there. Remember to use the linkers. Use N. Alright? Okay? 
If you're okay, we are going to move to the next part. Part one memang ini je cerita dia. Tak ada lain. That's it. It's predictable what will happen. Tak ada soalan soalan lain. Okay? Alright. Okay, this is part two. Part two is guided writing. Okay? Guided maksud dia ada isi. Dan kamu kena guna isi tu. Okay, so it's a longer text. Kalau tadi 80 words, this one between 125 to 150 words. Dalam tiga perenggan, empat perenggan, should be okay. Okay, tiga perenggan would be okay actually this part here. Okay, level B1. Lepas A2 ialah level B1. Patutnya tiga dan tiga dan empat mesti dah reach B1. Okay, sama juga 20 marks, 20 markah. Pemarkahan berdasarkan empat juga tadi yang saya cakap. Content. Communicative Achievement, Organization, Language. Untuk bagian language ni, dia fall ada dua. Vocab, okay, vocabulary dengan grammar. Okay, vocab awak sebenarnya tak perlu big word sangat. As long as, kalau simple words tapi menepati kehendak soalan. Specific, tepat. Okay, and then uh, grammar awak okay. Menguasai. Tak banyak salah sangat. You can fall under 3 and 4. Those yang perfect one, of course, it will be, you have to give them 5 marks. Okay? Untuk simple sentences semua, okay, ada sikit-sikit complex, uh, compound. Compound senang sebab awak akan gunakan N. Sebab Madden kata mesti pakai N. Hari ni ayat dia ialah, dia, dia punya mantra dia ialah, macam oleh the portal kan, mantranya ialah mesti pakai N. Okay? Mesti pakai linkers. So, bila awak buat compound, satu uh, sabuk sambungkan dua ayat simple, ada N dekat sana. So, awak dapat markah untuk bagian language as well as dekat bagian linkers. Alright? So, you must answer this question. Sama dengan part one, mesti jawab. Yang ini pun mesti jawab. Write your answer in 125 to 150 words in an appropriate style. Kenapa ada ayat belakang in appropriate style? Kalau is a report, it has to look like a report. Kalau is a apa, movie review, kena nampak macam review. Kalau nampak orang bagi suggestion, kena nampak macam dia bagi suggestion. If it's an article, it should look like an article. Okay? Uh, dia punya key dia untuk bahagian yang kedua, organi uh, untuk bahagian communicative achievement dia tu, kena appropriate style. Orang kena faham apa yang awak nak sampaikan. Okay? And that's it. Itu sahaja. Soalan pun sama. Jangan pakai, uh, uh, gunakan masa yang terlalu lama. Less than 30 minutes, you must finish this part. Okay? So, ini contoh soalan yang Madam bagi. Okay? Your class has been discussing what to buy as a gift for a family member from online shops. Okay, so ini our discussion awak dalam kelas lah. Jadi, your teacher has asked you to write an essay. Jadi tasnya ialah essay. Oh lari lah masuk dalam ni dia punya ni lari ya. Patutnya tas dia punya anak panah tu kena dekat essay. Okay. So essay uh, about what you buy for a family member. Jadi keyword penting yang awak kena faham dekat sini ialah a gift for a family member is an essay. Jawab soalan ni kat bahagian bawah ni, a gift that you would buy for a family member. Reasons for your choice. Berapa reasons? You should give at least two reasons. And then where would you buy it? Jadi untuk dapat C penuh. ah Untuk dapat content penuh. Apa yang mesti ada dalam penulisan awak? Untuk soalan ni? Ini buat? Ini what? Ha. Adik kakak, boys and girls. What to buy as a gift for family members from online shop. Okay. Betul, itu satu. Siapa? Who would you choose? Mama Anas. Kalau Mama Anas nak beli hadiah, nak beli hadiah untuk siapa? For my mother. Your mother. Agak kan nak beli apa? What would you buy for your mother Anas? I will buy her new clothes. Okay, so, can you be more specific? Kalau 
duduk sini pakaian. Ah, cuba be more specific. A new hmm. baju kurung. Ah, uh, ini baju kurung. Eh, uh -huh. uh, uh, apa tu? Accessory ya, perlu tinggi sekali pun. Accessories. Accessories. Ah, uh -uh. okay. And then, what's the reason for your choice? Hmm, because my mother says was always busy all day, so that with that is going to show her my gratitude to her. Okay, so one because uh, is a present for, to show your gratitude. So another reason, why would you choose Badi Puru? Because, she, li like because she likes new clothes and whenever mm -hmm. we go to the clothes store, go to the clothes store, she always looking forward for all type of clothes. Okay, good. Okay, so satu memang she's in she's a fashion fashionista lah kan. She loves fashion. Okay, she loves baju kurung. Okay, so that's one answer. Okay, your reason and where would you buy it? So tadi sebenarnya Anas dah jawab dah. Okay, at the clothing store. Alright, that's one example. Jadi untuk dapat lima markah tak sekolah soalan ni tak kisahlah ya awak teman balik banyak grammar mistake awak mesti be able to answer this three part. Okay, three points ni kena ada in your writing. Alright, so uh, a gift and then uh, for a family member, give your reasons and then where would you buy it. Okay, can I hear from a girl to answer this question very briefly so nak dengar your ideas. Any girls? Misal Sofia lah, masih Sofia dengan Anas je. Ha, orang lain tak ada tu. Wani, Wani, from ha, Pantikal ha? ada tak? Ani, hmm. so, so. Ha, ha, so dah panggil Wani ha. Wani, what would you buy? Who would you choose? Who would you choose? Uh, a gift. Mm. A gift for who? Uh, for my sister. Your sister? And what would you buy for your sister? Uh, I would buy a new shoes for her. A new pair of shoes. Okay, what's your reason? Because she left so... This is a collection. Collect shoes. Okay, she oh, loves to collect shoes. shoes. Okay, another reason? Mm. Awak nak beli hadiah kadang-kadang satu awak fikirkan interest orang tu satu lagi kena tengok pada bajet kita betul tak? Don't you think so Wani? Yes. Yes. So you think it's affordable for you to buy her that shoes? Yes. Within your budget? Yes. yes. <laughs> and okay and where would you buy the shoes? Uh, online. Online shops. Okay such as Shopee kan? Right? Okay. Kau tengok eh? Ah, you tengok Wani dengan Anas jawab ni. Soalan ni sebenarnya senang. As long as you know what's the uh, the criteria of the question. Okay. Untuk bahagian ni kalau awak tengok masa kita cahaya tu penetapan target soalan dan satu tangkap semua sama. Okay. Uh, cerita tentang classroom awak and then suggestions to improve your classroom. And classroom, cerita dia bukannya cerita mention ke istana negara ke tak, cerita kelas awak je, apa yang awak suka. Sebenarnya suggestion ni awak kan pitch ikut apa yang kamu suka. Okay, you want it to be more colourful, you want your classroom to be neater, you want the arrangement to be apa, so that you can work within groups, you want to have information board, eh, apa saja yang berkenaan. So, awak pastikan lengkapkan kriteria dekat bahagian soalan ni. Okay, dan Madam tanya tadi, okay, siapa yang boleh ikut up to now, okay, apa yang penting untuk organisasi dekat sini? Apa yang penting? Can anyone sebut tak? Boleh tak anyone say? Ha, selain daripada nama-nama yang dah keluar-keluar sebut-sebut hari ni, ha, cuba yang lain juga jawab, ma. Fokus pada apa sebelum penulisan nanti? Kendak soalan. Ya, memang kendak soalan wajib. Lepas tu, apa yang awak boleh ni Farah? Ni bukan Farah cicit lah yang Farah. Farah, Farah, Zura. Ah, okay. 
apa yang Mary Duk sebut tadi yang kita mesti pakai and apa dia tu? What is that? Ya, the linkers. Okay, use linkers and also got junction. Okay, thank you Farah Zura. Alright. Jadi, jadi kita tengok satu sampel. Kak Sheila nak tanya. Ya, 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 sure. Um, for the reason, should they give like at least three points? I would say two at least. At least two. Okay. Uh, at least two. Sebab reasons kan. Kalau reason satu je. Reason kalau dua pun nak okay. Sebabnya penulisan ni pendek. 125 to 150. And kalau dia boleh bagi dua pun I think dia cantik. Hmm. Cuma bila dia bagi tu, reason one, reason two, pastikan dia gunakan penanda wacana linkers tu. That is how they feel the first. Alright, uh, for the reasons, okay, so there are many factors kan, let's say we can say on the budget. Uh, yeah. And then, let, kalau kita cakap, uh, I love my sister, I love my mother, is that is that acceptable point? Sebenarnya tak berapa you sebab ikutkan um, kalau kita kata because one macam tadi lah even to show gratitude uh, ni dia lebih kepada uh, factor the person kan why why decide to give this to that person contoh kan katakan uh, nak bagi handbag untuk mother kenapa because she likes to uh, collect handbags satu and then you say that because the other uh, person, um, my mother is very fashionable. She likes to match her handbag with her clothes. Right? Uh, that would be another reason. Of course, I would like you to tell us something affordable to you. Okay? Kalau you cakap because I love you, lah, memang. Tapi dia macam tak berapa tepat sebenarnya untuk uh, as a reason tu. Right. So, nampak kalau kata tadi, baru orang um, kata, uh, kalau kata she loves but a clothes, uh, itu baru satu lah. Kan? Hmm. Okay, okay, faham. Thank you. Untuk mak saya akan jatuh sikit lah. Ah. Dia tak boleh dapat empat lah. Maksudnya reason. Dia tak, tak boleh dapat lima. Reason dia kena like empat. solid, solid thing that we can see or refer yes. to. Yes, yes, ah. yes, yes. Kalau betul solid dan you find. Kalau macam tadi kan, macam kata Mama Anas bagi jawapan tadi kan, dia mungkin nak dapat dalam empat lah. Hmm. To show gratitude dia betul tapi reason ni kenapa pilih that gift That's the thing Alright So, could you say that you call for their birthdays? It could be a reason oh, isn't it? Because you yeah. want to give a present the present Ya yeah, boleh lah put tapi pun kalau tengok pada soalan tadi you boleh tengok Okay Okay, okay. Uh, reasons for your choice. Dia tengok soalan tu kan. Dia kata bukan reason for giving the uh, for giving the gift. is a birthday present ke apa. Dia ada reason for why you choose that gift. Kan? Kat sini nampak dia punya nampak soalan macam senang tapi dia ada sikit higher on the thinking skill. Betul tak? Okay. So kalau kata kalau it's for her birthday gift, so you macam mm, belum solid lagi reason dia tu. Sebab soalan kat sini kata reasons for your choice. Kenapa you boleh have benda you tak punya benda lain? Ha, macam tu. Tapi tricky lah kalau you fikir sampai situ kan. Ha. Oh, maybe because the uh, old handbag. Uh, hand Ah, ya, yeah, itu okey. Ah, okey. Because I need to buy her a new one. Her current apa handbag is uh, not so nice looking. Ke, kan? The old handbag. So she needs a new one. Ah, that one is solid. Okay. A, a, a solid reason. Okay. Alright. Tadi kita bincang pasal penanda wacana kan. Okay. Kalau masa as them lah kan. You memang tak ada masa sebenarnya. You are really really running out of time. Boleh je. If I were nak start your essay, if I were to buy a gift for a family member, I would buy something for my mother. Something for my 
sebagai something for my sister. Boleh je start macam tu. Straight away kepada soalan. Cuma dekat bahagian mungkin uh, dekat bahagian apa uh, CA tu mungkin kurang sikit lah. Kan? Okay. Tapi sebenarnya okey je. Yang penting jawab pada konten. Tapi kalau contoh jawapan yang saya bagi sini dia adalah bunga sikit ada intro. Ingat eh, when you write essays, you write article, you need to have an introduction even though it's a short one. So dekat sini saya buatlah buying games can be a hassle. A hassle satu yang menyusahkan. There are a lot of reasons okay, to consider why selecting a game for a person. Particularly if the person is very fussy. Okay. Uh, personally, I love buying games for my friends and family members. Kalau lah kata awak nak buat intro dia, personally, I love buying games. Uh, macam tu. Boleh juga. Okay. Uh, the look of their happy faces is a joy to me. So, this is uh, uh, an introduction lah of how you can start this. Kalau nak straight away to the question pun boleh. If I were to buy any, uh, I would choose my mother. Okay, uh, I love to buy gifts from my mother because she's not a fussy person. Not too tu, okay. Uh, that is one way. Uh, sebenarnya penggan yang kedua ni boleh jadi penggan pertama awak bergantunglah kepada masa kamu. If I were to buy a gift for a family member, I will definitely choose my mother. Bila ada penggunaan will definitely, okay, will surely. Ini dah kat bahagian penggunaan bahasa tu dia dah naik. Okay, language. Stop. Uh, dia sebenarnya ayat nama, sama je. Uh, I will choose my mother. Kan? Eh, senang tak. Tapi you play with words here. My mother has a lot of interests such as fashion and beauty. Thus, it is easy to choose a gift for her. Despite her many interests, I know that she loves knitting the most. So, a knitting book is indeed the best gift for my Mata. Okay, so kalau kamu tengok dekat sini, dua perenggan ni, dia belum habis lagi penulisan ni. Dekat bagian highlighted words tu, a knitting book dah jawab soalan yang pertama untuk siapa? Untuk mata. Okay, dah jawab. Okay, kenapa saya buka satu-satu ni? Sebab saya nak seluruh tengok. Okay, di mana? Where are the linkers? Point out, what are the linkers, boys and girls? Ha. Come on. Personally? Personally bukan linker saya. Ha. Yes. Thus, okay. So. So. so despite. Despite, yes. Ada end tak saya tanya? Ada end tak? Ada ke okay. ayat atas kan? I love buying gifts for my friends. Kan? Dia macam dia as two simple sentences. I love buying gifts for my friends. I love buying gifts for my family. Mm -hmm. Jadi and ada di atas sikit tu ada perkataan while. While pun ialah linkers. So dah ada lima. Dekat sini kalau kamu tengok dah ada lima. Okay. Uh, kat bawah pun uh, like fashion and baking. So dah ada lima. And then uh, link such as. Okay, such as ni pun nak illustrate, menunjukkan contoh. Okay. Uh, for example, itu semua link us tau. Okay. Uh, semua tu uh, dia menunjukkan the idea of you giving uh, example. Okay. So you dah nampak dah dekat sini untuk cikgu awak dekat sini dah dia dah nak pitch awak untuk bagian organisation dah boleh dapat lima. Okey, penggunaan perkataan taklah susah sangat. Senang aja. Okey, simple words tapi nampak menguasai. Sudah so, boleh dekat bagian language sudah nak dah, dah boleh matah ya. Tinggi. Okey, so dekat sini kita bagi reason. Ah, the main reason. Okey, the first reason ada boleh jadi kita punya linkers. For my choice is because because for linkers She collects these books. Yang pertama, sebab mak awak ada collection buku ni. It is her main reference for ideas. Besides, linkers lagi. The price of a knitting book is affordable and within my budget. 
in addition, I can easily buy these books from online bookshops, the bookstores like popular bookstores. So, awak yang bagian purple tu, yang maroon ni sebenarnya ialah uh, menjawab kepada soalan. Reason satu, reason dua. Sebenarnya kat sini ada tiga reason. Dan awak dalam reason yang ketiga tu, kamu dah bagi. Where can you buy it? Alright? Follow eh guys? Alright. Dan apa saja penulisan, whether is a review, is a report, is an article, mesti ada conclusion. Bila nak buat conclusion, mesti mulakan dengan words to show conclusion. In conclusion, in short, or in all, to sum up. Itu pun dah kira sebagai linkers. Itu pun semua linkers yang high flow linkers yang markah awak dah pitch dekat 4 dan 5. Okay, in short, buying a gift is easy if you know the person's interest. So, uh, the so lagi, it is advisable to do a background search before you buy a gift for someone. Ataupun, bagikan pada saya dalam masa awak yang sangat singkat, macam mana awak nak buat conclusion? Paling senang, in short, I'm sure my mother will love this gift. It is my way to show my gratitude for my mother. Tadi Anas punya ayat tadi dah cukup. Oh, your introduction, uh, your conclusion. Dua ayat pun dah cukup tapi there is a conclusion. So, very important when you write articles, report, okay. Uh, mesti ada essay macam ni, mesti ada intro, mesti ada conclusion. Alright. And then, jangan lupa guna linkers, guna conjunctions, simple conjunctions. Okay. Uh, so, this is between the number of words. Awak jawab semua soalan. Penggunaan linkers yang sangat tinggi. So, memang dekat bagian organisation dah boleh dapat lima mata. Okay. Choice of words awak simple tapi memenuhi specific words. Enough. Good control of your grammar and vocab. Untuk excellent lima mata tu sebenarnya dia kata good control of vocab and grammar. Alright. Boys and girls, okay. Follow. Ada titik baru tak dekat bahagian sini? Okay. Ini dia paling penting apa saya? Baca tanda soalan. Betul? And then mesti guna linkers and conjunction. Okay. Mesti ada intro dengan conclusion. Okay. Ha, nanti kejap lagi awak kena salin nota sikit lah. Saya share dengan awak ni. Ha, ini semua rahsia-rahsia ha, saya mengajar anak murid saya. Ha. Ha, jadi. Banyak gitu sebenarnya. Awak carilah kat internet ada banyak sebenarnya ni. Ha, ha, untuk add points. Okay. Hari ni saya cerita sikit eh. Uh, untuk apa? Uh, untuk soalan macam ni, eh, bila kita menambah isi, isi pertama, isi kedua, reason pertama, reason kedua, alasan satu, alasan dua, okay, suggestion one, suggestion two, sebenarnya tak sesuai pakai uh, next, then, after that. Itu ialah sequence connectors. Sequence connectors ni dia menunjuk turutan. Dia kurang sesuai tak untuk macam tadi alasan pertama dengan alasan kedua, reason one and reason two. Dia tak sesuai sangat sebenarnya. Yang kalau reason one dengan reason two ni dia sesuai pakai yang dekat bagian adding points. First, apa? Furthermore, besides, on top of that, okay, moreover, okay. Untuk um, next, then after that, ini bila dia ada uh, sequence, dia ada aturan. Dia kalau macam peristiwa, sesuatu yang berlaku pada kita. Contoh macam soalan satu tadi. Okay, pertama sekali kita pergi river cruise dulu. Lepas itu baru kita makan sate. Itu dia turutan, that sequence. Okay, that one memang sesuai pakai after that. Next, that. Okay, tapi bila untuk ini suggestion one, suggestion two, reason one, reason two lebih sesuai pakai uh, bahagian ending points. Um, Madam, nak ajak awak main game sekejap boleh tak? Boleh. 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 Boleh.
Kalau kita main dengan list kecil Sekejap eh. Nak buka tab ni. Okay. Uh, yang ni, uh, sebenarnya saya je boleh main. Saya nak share dengan awak tak boleh. Uh, okay. Tapi awak boleh carilah awak sebut-sebut-sebut-sebut macam tu eh. Okay. Okay, saya stop sekejap. Okay, oh ramai bila buka semua, boleh nampak semua. Ha, ramai. Alright. Hmm. Okay, nampak ni? Nampak? Nampak. Nampak. Nampak tak? Ha, nampak. Ha, okey. Nanti saya tekan saja ni awak sebutkan. Hari ni saya nak introduce awak linkers untuk tambah isi. Maksud, ni kalau awak ada suggestion, five suggestions. Ha, okey. Apa yang awak boleh pakai? Okey. Ha, sebut. On top of that. Mana awak tak boleh tekan? On top of that. Well 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 as well as. Hmm. As well as belas bawah belah bawah. Hmm. Okay, lagi. Hmm. Okay, students, you may write in the comment eh, kalau tak boleh nak voice out. Ah, kalau tak boleh voice out, you tak boleh comment pun tak boleh. Comment. Oh, as well as bukan, okay. Ah, uh, contact. Dekat. Hmm. Apa dia? Apa contact? Eh, pada atas tengah. Dekat tengah, dekat. Hmm. Aduh. Oh, okay. Where's the more? Lagi? Furthermore. Okay. Lagi? In addition tadi dah nampak Moreover Moreover Yes So all together tadi ada six eh ah, Dia buat tak banyak ni ah, Okay nanti Kalau nak main bolehlah saya share link ni dengan dengan cikgu awak Nanti awak boleh main dalam pakai telegram Alright Okay. Okay, there's so many apa, uh, game that you can try actually. Okay. Uh, itu sikit lah. Ada yang yang game apa tu yang matching saya buat ni. Uh, kejap lagi kot. Pengsan. Dapat kejap lagi lah. Uh, kalau nampak macam dah pingkong sikit ni. Uh, I go uh, another round. Okay. Okay, so yang ni lah basically ya, eh. tadi yang kata adding tadi kat sini lah Add kan, uh, moreover, furthermore, in addition, on top of that, another point is Okay, so these are ways of how you can add your points Okay, bila kau mau memerlukan uh, Sequencing tadi yang hilang yang sebut tadi nak uh, third, next, okay Uh, untuk tunjuk contoh, okay, uh, for instance, for example, saya suka juga sebenarnya, okay, I want to go for the next one, okay, this one. I like this one better, sebab saya tak tak suka nak share banyak-banyak sangat nanti awak pening. Untuk contrasting ideas, instead of using but, okay, internet has a lot of advantages, but okay, there is also this advantages. Selain daripada pakai but, kalau but boleh tak ada masalah. Dia dia, dia connectors. Okay, ada uh, conjunction. Tapi kalau awak stop kan, however, uh, itu dia lebih high class lagi. Okay, high flown. Maka dia lagi tinggi. However, internet also has its, its disadvantages. Okay, so untuk contrasting ideas boleh pakai nevertheless in contrast. Okay. 
uh, and then untuk giving example for instance for examples and then conclusion okay uh, untuk perenggan yang terakhir uh, pakailah in conclusion all in all in short alright Okay, saya memang suka sebab saya cerita dengan awak, my students, my uh, my last year student, memang saya ajar dia untuk even speaking. Whatever I'm sharing today is actually, um, it can be used for your speaking. I totally agree with you. I agree with you kan. Kalau untuk bagian speaking pun boleh juga ditanya what is your, kan awak kena turn taking kan, kena tanya uh, what about you. Oh, I definitely agree with your opinion. Okay, so pakai indefinitely, extremely, uh, absolutely, in fact. Okay, I, I think your idea is in fact very good. Okay, kalau tak pakai perkataan ni semua, tak ada masalah. Cuma, bila kita pakai dia, dia nampak lebih kuat. Bila awak dengar saya cakap pun, uh, I like you. Okay, I definitely like you. Nampak lagi kuat stress lebih uh, lebih suka sangat sangat suka ok boleh cubalah uh, untuk sekali awak uh, guna satu atau dua and then untuk awak punya apa uh, speaking gunakan perkataan perkataan ni ok linkers ni untuk awak punya speaking pun sangat berguna ok Again, pemarkahan sama, content 5, communicative achievement 5, organization 5, language 5. Kenapa lah Meda asyik tunjuk pemarkahan ni? Kita bukan nak jadi cikgu. Memang tak. Cuma saya nak awak tahu kat mana markah tu datang. Okay? Dan terakhir sekali, ini yang susah sikit lah. Yang lain tu susah tak susah. Okay? Yang ini susah sikit sebab dia bagi kamu tiga pilihan. Kamu kena pilih satu. Okay, so part 3 ialah extension writing. Dia ada 3 questions. So between 200 and 250 words, kamu kena menulis within 40 to 45 minutes here this part. So that's why you need to cut your time there, more time here. Okay, so choose one. Jadi pilihan tak banyak. Yang boleh keluar artikel, review, report, story. Okay. And then dekat sini dia memang pitch level B2 iaitu level tingkatan 5. Yang mana dia kata mesti kamu dah capai dekat bagian ni. Mata sama 20 marks. Okay. Okay so contoh soalan yang saya ada hari ni ialah ni. Okay reviews required. Have you dined in any interesting cafe before? Send us your review of that cafe. Okay. See what you enjoy being at that cafe. Would you recommend a cafe to your friends? Why? The best review will be published in our magazine. Okay, Madam nak orang lain pula cakap apa content yang awak boleh dapat dekat sini. Yang mesti ada dalam penulisan tu. What do you think? Anyone? Bila menulis, uh, ini mesti ada. What is, what, what, what is the content part here? Come on. Dah kena pergi masak nasi eh. Mak kata masak nasi. Eh, awal lagi belum kau dua bulan masak nasi ni. Ha. Our review of about the cafe. Okay, one cafe. Okay. So kalau cafe tu, Anas kena bagi nama tak? Yes. Kena bagi. Kena bagi nama cafe. Ya, yeah, mesti. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, dia, what you enjoy at the cafe. Contoh lah. Okay. What would you enjoy at the cafe, Anas? Selama you throw je jawab ni ha. Okay, Anas. What would you enjoy being at the cafe? Kenapa? I would enjoy the atmosphere and the food at the cafe. Bagus lah Anas. I should come and see you and buy you ice cream later. Okay. okay. Uh, bagus. Soalan tepat. Jawapan tepat. Okay. Uh, maksudnya uh, I enjoy the food and the atmosphere. Kan? Kita kalau kita pergi cafe tu kita suka sebab 
uh, sebab atmosphere tu lah, rasa tenang, rasa macam very uh, happening, hip hop kan, uh, happening sangat kan. And then, uh, so uh, content seterusnya, nama cafe, apa yang kamu suka tentang cafe tu, lepas tu, apa lagi content yang kena ada, wajib ada dalam ni. Would you recommend the cafe to your friend? Okay, would you recommend the cafe to your friend? Okay, so uh, macam mana agak-agak ni ayat awak? Based on apa ayat yang saya bagi, siapa nak cuba? Uh, janganlah beri anak macam saya dia cakap berdua dia dengan Anas. Ni Hazrul Izwan ni asyik tulis dia cakap sikit Hazrul. Uh, what they serve, betul. Uh, okay. Uh, macam mana? I would recommend this to your my friend. Okay. Macam mana awak nak buat ayat tu? menggunakan apa yang tadi saya Madam Ajar tadi yang stress tu emphasize the point ha. I ha, I cuma nak pakai tadi tu I would recommend this okay tapi kalau awak nak tambah sikit bagi strength sikit pada ayat tu okay. Okay, katakanlah ini kafe-nya, kafe cengkih ni. Okay. Ha. Awak nak rakyat kafe cengkih ni pada kawan? How would you say? Hai? I highly recommend. I highly recommend. Siapa yang cakap tadi tu? Azrul eh. I highly recommend. I definitely recommend. Apa? N. I ada. Okay. I really recommend Cafe Chunky to my friends because of its food. Okay? So, tadi soalan ni satu lagi apa? Okay, and then why? You recommend kenapa? Uh, because of the food, contoh. Okay? Ha, contohlah ini kan, ha, kita tak nak buat review ni. Ha, sini satu lah contoh kan. Ha, okay, and then what would you talk about it? Alright. Kalau nak macam mana start review ni eh? How would you start this writing? Kau dah pernah buat movie review kan? Tiga tempat kan? Ha, kena lima je belum lagi ni. Ha. Alright. Agak-agak macam mana orang start ni? Katakanlah cafe cengki ni. I need nak dengar intro je. That's it. Then I'm going to go to the next one. Hmm. Come on. Macam mana kamu nak mula ni? Uh, review. The best cafe that I go recently is the cengki cafe. Which was in... Uh -huh. Uh, which was have a um, Malay fusion food and was mm -hmm. in uh, Melaka. Yeah. Okay. Mungkin okay, Anas. Anas, I'm, I really, uh, Mega memang enjoy lah. Macam kita cakap berdua je ni Anas kan. <laughs> Orang lain kan. Okay. Okay, the thing is that, okay, Anas kena um, betul. Uh, memang ada location semua cantik. Cuma nak kena susun oh, untuk pada segi organisation of the ideas kan. Uh, recently I went to a cafe in Melaka. Okay. Uh, I really enjoy being at cafe Cengke. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Boleh terus saja pada soalan. Okay. And then you perlu berterus jawab kan. Okay. Uh, uh, cafe Cengke serves Malay fusion food. Uh, okay. Okay. And then, bila apa, uh, I, apa uh, boleh bagi reason ni, apa yang you enjoy. Uh, uh, the first thing that I enjoy being in Cafe Chenke is the food. Uh, another reason is the atmosphere. Jangan lupa, mesti guna linkers on dump sheets. Alright? Okay. Okay, when you give opinions, okay, this is how you can start, okay, uh, to give your opinion. And then giving opinions and views ni sebenarnya untuk speaking pun sangat penting, in my opinion. I think Cafe Tenke is a good 
place to hang out with your family Toto. All right? And then how to give explanation. Eh? Let me share some uh, tips on. Oh, tengok soalan awak boleh speaking pun something to do with this kan. Uh, tips on uh, how to be uh, a professional uh, sports player. Okay? So, how to choose? Ada tiga soalan. Pilih satu yang terbaik. Choose the ones that you are really familiar with. Soalan yang kamu betul-betul yakin kamu ada isi. Okay? Mind map your choice of words. Determine the use of tenses of your writing. Okay? If it's a story, normally people use past tense when you write stories. Okay? Sama. Pematahan sama. Okay. Hari ni sebenarnya nak fokus sikit lah untuk um, apa namanya uh, pen, uh, uh, writing stories. Uh, I'm not sure at this point uh, whether you guys uh, want to write stories, want to write factual writing, okay. Tapi semua benda ni dia ada style, dia punya style of writing tu ada. Cuma untuk stories, okay, mungkin lah, mungkin daripada tiga pilihan tu, dia salah satunya ialah story. Untuk story pun sama, untuk bagian content dia mesti ada elemen yang dia nak. Contoh kat sini, we are looking for stories for our magazine. The story must begin with the sentence, it was a fantasy. Mesti mula dengan ayat ni, tak boleh mula dengan ayat yang lain. And then your story must include a friend and then a surprise. Okay, this one can be a happy story, can be a thriller, okay, it can be a scary story. Okay, tips untuk penulisan cerita, first sekali, mana mana cerita yang awak baca, kalau awak berapa tengok Captain Nobody, your novel kan, dia start chapter one tu with the character. Introduce your character, okay. Yang kedua, introduce your setting. Cerita, apa-apa cerita pun, kalau movie pun, first kali mesti karakter, kemudian mesti setting, kemudian mesti ada konflik. Mesti ada sesuatu berlaku and then the outcome of the story. Okay, ingat cerita ni dalam 200 to 250 words dalam kata five paradigms. Alright. Um, I would like to share something with you. Okay, whenever you free, you can actually... Um, apa, you can actually uh, serve on your own lah. Boleh tak, can I share something from the YouTube with you guys? Yeah, sure. Where you can get ideas. Okay, uh, masa yang awak dengar ni nanti, this is a very short story tau. Uh, tapi it's interesting of how they start, right? they introduce the character, the setting, and then penggunaan perkataan dia, and then sampai dia punya, and it's a short story. Very short. Ini lah kan, bila belum macam ni kan, sekejap lagi dia kena ikhlan kan. Sekejap kan. You all dengar eh? I still have three hours to go before I reach my hometown. Mm, I, I didn't think one. I was going to make it without falling asleep at the wheel. I looked at the clock on my dash. It was 2.30 a.m. I decided that I would stop at the next hotel that I saw and just called it the night and head home first thing in the morning. Okay, 
looked around and 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 looked
As my heart began to thump, I reached for the door and swung it open. To my relief, the closet was empty, but I had heard knocking from the closet door. This was starting to become very unsettling. Before returning to bed, I checked the front door. I reluctantly opened it and noticed that my hands were shaking. As I poked my head out and looked, I caught a glimpse of a woman. She seemed to be wearing old clothes and had long black hair. I wondered if I was simply seeing things at this point. Maybe it was her who had knocked on my door, and I had mistakenly assumed that the sound came from the closet. Maybe she was simply trying to find her room. I shut the door and tried to assure myself I was safe before returning to bed. As I pressed my head against the pillow, So how was it? Interesting. Uh, okay. 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 So these are kind of stories, the short stories that you can actually write for your writing. Ini untuk dapat idea tau. Tengok macam mana dia introduce a character and then macam mana dia introduce the setting sebab cerita ni cerita apa? Cerita scary kan? Thriller. Jadi dia introduce the setting. Tengok dia macam mana penggunaan perkataan dia. Yeah. And then yeah. kan dia macam mana conflict to building. Uh. Okay, oh, okay. Dia settingkan dekat Ur Hotel. Kena bayar mahal. And then, dia mula mesti kena gelap. Kan? And then, ada suasana, oh, thunder and light. Kan? Dekat kereta saya, uh, Satria Nio, JLD. Uh, JLD. Johor. Johor, uh, laut dalam. <laughs> uh, tak boleh letak je kat kereta saya. Haa. Uh-uh. Okay, saya akan Lepas tu, the next day, uh, apa yang berlaku? Oh, barulah tahu rupanya, oh, benda ni berantu, bilik dia berantu, kan? Okay. Uh, kejap lagi dia buat, dia lagi keluar, kejap lagi daripada bilik dia ni, uh, takut nak pergi ambil barang-barang semua. So, that's how you tell stories. And then, cantik juga kalau ada pengajaran sikit, okay? Uh, dengan mudah sangat pergi tempat-tempat yang macam ni, ni contohlah, kan? Okay, so I'll kill the suspense again. You can go, <laughs> you can go and search for this. All right. Uh, it's about uh, the most important thing is that I wanted to show you is this. Okay, this is how these are the the things that you must consider when you write stories. Untuk tulis cerita ni, maybe memang kena ada satu sesi, satu bengkel yang khas, kata eh. Okay, but just for today, you can start by introducing the character. Always remember this when you write stories, if you have chosen it as a story, start by introducing the character. Okay, somehow try to draw interest from your reader. And then number two, set the setting of the story. Where? Where is it? Okay, it can be a place in a tourist spot in Malaysia, it can be a haunted mansion, it can be in a forest, all right? And then of course, you need to introduce the conflict. Alright. Ini contoh, an introduction that I came out. Okay. It was a pleasant morning but uh, sama, ingat, dia mesti mulakan dengan ayat, it was a pleasant morning but uh, Madam dah pakai conjunction yang pertama, but Nina's nightmare had just started. So who is your character? Uh, who's your character? Uh, anak-anak saya. Who's your character? Nina. Okay, uh, Nina. What about Nina? Her parents registered her in a holiday camp. Even though, okay, even though ialah uh, linkers yang kedua. Even though the place was tempting, she hated the fact that she had to mingle with other students. Okay, kenapa dengan Nina ni? Nina ni tak suka. Okay, bergaul dengan, uh, ni dia bukan orang yang social, dia tak suka bercakap-cakap dengan orang. Okay, so a holiday camp would definitely, and I just enjoy using the word definitely, okay. Uh, a holiday camp would definitely involve a lot of group work, 
she dreaded ah uh, dia kata dreaded maksudnya she hated at the thought of speaking to strangers beads of perspiration trickle down her okay untuk kriteria pertama soalan ni iaitu mula dengan it was a pleasant morning okay ada okay perundang yang kedua mungkin awak akan introduce the word uh, the apa a friend and then of course other elements of surprise link okay Okay, so macam biasa lah mana-mana workshop saya, saya kata janganlah asyik guna perkataan ditipu, interesting, bad, nice, good. Try to choose uh, other words. Alright? Okay? Oh, tak pun saya nak Okay, uh, ini point tadi ingatkan dalam perizian, ini tak perizian. Okay, ini tadi point yang Madam share tadi. Okay, uh, ini contoh karangan tadi macam mana saya mulakan. Okay, kalau dekat perangan yang pertama ni aja saya dah gunakan dua, tiga, linkers. Okay, the idea is there already. Alright, ada nak tanya tak tentang buat how to write stories ni? Kena ada letak dialog ke? Kalau kamu suka dialog, you can write dialog. Okay? Tapi dialog ni dia ada bahaya sikit siapa Sofia yang tanya ni. Bahayanya ialah Sofia. Cerita kita biasanya when we write stories, we will use past tense. When you have dialog, you akan convert to the present tense. Dia ada main apa tukar-tukar tenses. Bila you tukar tenses tu kadang-kadang you macam terlihat sikit. Dia jadi suka hati tense. Kalau suka hati tense ni ada bahaya sikit pada kita punya language marks. So, um, up to you. Okay, but I don't really uh, enjoy my students writing dialogues. Sebab dia ada bahaya. Dia, dia ada banyak tukar tenses. You faham tak apa ni dia cakap? Dia kena tukar dia past tense. Kejap you nak dialogue you masuk present tense. Uh, Melainkan you are very good with your tenses. Dia akan kacau markah apa language kita sebenarnya. Okay? Ada soalan lain tak lagi? Any other questions? Okay, ni to stories. Okay. okay, hari ni sebenarnya dekat bagian ni ada, ada banyak soalan. Tapi salah satu ni ialah cerita. And I somehow uh, enjoy writing stories. Okay, so I memang, I love my speech writing stories. But it, it depends. Kalau nak writing stories ni dia ada skill macam ni. Tak perlu report dia macam ni. Okay? Uh, mungkin yang paling senang lah sebenarnya menulis cerita. Okay? Okay? Any any other questions? Boleh oh. dia tanya part 1, part 2, part 3 lah. Uh. No question? Sure lah? Okay. So macam macam cakap tadi, uh, break away lah from these words. Try to be more specific. Okay? Use more specific words. Alright? Uh, contohnya, uh, break away lah daripada perkataan-perkataan biasa macam sad, tukarlah jadi devastated. Okay. Uh, kalau happy ni macam macam perkataan happy lah. Pakailah perkataan-perkataan selain daripada happy. Okay. Alright. Uh. Okay. So basically this is what I'm go I I want to share with you guys. So macam mana nak score untuk part 1, part 2 dengan part 3. Okay. Kalau nak cerita write stories ni dia memang perlukan uh, masa sikit lagi lah untuk write stories. But I'm sharing with you how can you start with your stories and where you can get your ideas. Okay. Uh, sebenarnya kat internet ni memang sangat kaya lah. Sebenarnya kaya sangat macam-macam benda ada dekat internet ni. Okay. So you need to uh, cari lah. Kalau tak cari memang tak jumpa lah. Kan? Uh, so contoh eh. Uh, Madam Sheikh yang ni. Ni you can find on the internet sebenarnya ni. Uh, kan? Uh, perkataan macam ni kan. Eh, descriptive words. Macam mana nak be large. Kalau big balik-balik. Big, big, big. Uh, so daripada big you can use gigantic waves. Instead of big waves. Uh, okay. Contohnya lah cerita awak dekat tepi pantai kan. Uh, okay. 
So, tak ada question eh? Betul? Okay. Uh, so, uh, I think that's all lah for today. Okay. Betul kan? Uh, hari ni sesi kita sampai ke 12 kan? Nanti budak-budak kata mungkin madam kita nak pergi masak nasi ni. Uh. Okay. okay uh, siapa? Farah. Uh, alright. Okay, so uh, just to end my session today, cakap banyak banyak tu kan. Okay, so Ustaz kata ada attendance link, don't forget your attendance link. Okay, saya uh, doakan lah, saya halalkan regardless whether you're a Malay, Chinese or Indian. Uh, saya halalkan apa sahaja yang saya berikan pada kamu. Hopefully whatever that I sharing with you today, there are some tips that it can help you in uh, how to go about teaching people. Okay? Alright? So, saya doakan semoga kamu mendapat, uh, apa, uh, I hope that you have better, you get better grades for your English after this. Okay, insyaAllah. Amin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the interesting talk, uh, Kak. Uh, that's the end of our program today. Thank you very much to all our students for your partition, uh, for your participation in this session. Alright, we hope to invite you again, Kak Sheila. Sometime in your future, once the school reopens, hopefully. Kak Sheila, boleh cancelkan your share screen? Sure, sure. No problem. Thank you, Kak Sheila. Um, eh, you guys jangan keluar lagi eh. Uh, you know what, today's session kan, you guys, you're the teachers kan, all of you are, your department is here kan, everyone is here kan. Three of, three of you is here kan. Uh, yeah, yeah, three, three of us are here. Eh, you all daftarkan sebagai apa PLC. Hmm. Dua dalam satu. This is your English peer project with your students, but you guys also, I'm teaching you how to mark also. Okay. <laughs> nah, so today's session, minta you punya MP or your KP, parah lah kan. <laughs> uh, daftarkan sebagai PLC. <laughs> yes, daftarkan as PLC, you get your one hour or two hours PLC. Kak Farah, are you there? Kak Farah? Farah, microphone ada problem. Tak parah frozen terus. Ah, tu lah lama tengok ni tak boleh lah. <laughs> Kak Sheila dah cancel belum share screen? Tu lah <laughs> yang salah. Oh, okey dah. Apa dia? Okey, tak apa-apa. Uh. Uh, so, nak ambil gambar tak? Can everyone open your camera? Oh, nampaklah muka Anas. Uh, an yang tolong jawab soalan hari ini banyak. Ha? Eh? Anas pada baik ke? Kat kelas pun dia, dia paling banyak menjawab bila tanya soalan. Ha. Kalau awak mengembirakan hati cikgu awak, memanglah banyaklah bagian awak nanti. Nanti awak mudahkan perjalanan kamu. InsyaAllah. Oh, ambil je lah gambar. Faham ni memang tu banyak tu je lah. Biasa pun kalau I macam ni juga. Sekejap eh, I prepare ni. Alright, ready. One, two, three. Okay, sekejap eh. Nanti ambil satu lagi gambar, bel empat. Patrin, Farah uh, dengan ni. You can take one is for your PLC. Ah. Uh. Aku dah buka gambar ni lagi. Ha, dah kata tak uh, Fami. Ni anak buat you dah buka ha. Okey, okey. Ya, apa lah your cameras girls. Ai nampak tadi ada someone ada Akila kenapa dah operator tu? Ha. Tak apa. Alright. Ha, uh, tik 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 Fami. Ha, okay, dia dah ramai buka tu buka. Okay, one more time ready. Uh, okay, ada. Ada lagi nak buka? Okay, one, two, three.
Kita lagi mami ha. Alright. Okay, your, your students can go out uh, and leave the meet and then kita ambil gambar for orang. Alright, thank you students for joining. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. 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 Thank you, Madam Sheila. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Thank you, darling. Saja je kan? Hari tu saya buat kelas video PBM ni dekat diorang sama-sama Dia kata good evening teacher sebab pula rasa lama tak dengar diorang cakap macam tu 